everyone, I'm Jessa May Nebras, a second year BSHM student. Today, I will be discussing your three basic skills in volleyball with its proper execution. These are the serving, the passing, and the setting. To certainly understand each skill, let's now tackle it one by one. Let's start with the serving. Serving strategy gives the best chances to score points and take the game. When the opponent's offense is strong, it is practical to take more risks with serves. There are three common types of serves. The underhand, overhand, and the jump serve. Let's first tackle the underhand serve. To do an underhand serve, first, you need to find balance. Place your left foot in front of your right foot in a balanced position. Next, hold the ball in one hand, swing your other arm back, keeping it parallel to your body. Then swing your arm forward with a closed fist or an open hand, contacting the bottom panels of the ball. As you swing your arm forward, make sure to shift your weight from your back foot to your front foot to help you propel the ball across your court into the opposing team's court. Let's now proceed to the second type of serve, the overhand serve. To execute, first place the ball in your tossing hand, left hand for the right-handers, and right hand for the left-handers. Next, with your left hand, toss the ball two to three feet up in the air in front of your front foot. With the right hand, held it above your head at a 90 degree angle with your elbow above the level of your ear. Use the middle of your open palm serving hand to contact the middle panels of the ball. To execute, make sure to keep a rigid wrist, flat hand, and a widespread stiff fingers. Imagine giving a friend a high five, keeping your elbow above the level of your ear, while you rotate to contact the ball to travel over the net. Down to the third type of serve, the jump serve. It is a type of serve where the serving player increases power and serve height by jumping to hit the ball. This can make the serve very difficult to handle for the receiving team. To perform, first, it is important to start with a several feet behind the line. Next, place the ball in left hand and toss the ball high. Swing both arms behind you and forward and up, while stepping forward with the left foot and then a quick hop. Let's now discuss the second basic skill in volleyball, the passing. While in the game, it is also important to know how to pass the ball by understanding what to do before, during, and after the serve. Things to do before the serve. Make sure to keep feet shoulder width apart in a balanced position with your knees bent, so you're in a slight squat. Keep your feet slightly staggered, so right foot is 2 to 3 inches in front of your left foot, so you can move. Hands can also rest your knees while waiting for the opponent to serve. During the serve, as the server tosses the ball, the passer's hand must come off the knees and extend out in front of you. Then create a platform by making an L with your hands to develop a passing hands. Freeze your platform on ball contact and don't swing your arms. Make sure to keep your eyes on the ball to perfectly serve receive. Also, make sure to pull mine to get into the habit. Mine! Mine! Let's move on down to the last basic skill in volleyball, the setting. Setting is the second step of passing, and it can be done to either dump the ball over into a defended spot or to set the ball into a position that allows the hitter to spike it over. To perform, first, make sure to pay attention to your setting stance. Make your feet just a bit further apart, with your knees slightly bent, with one foot slightly in front of the other, and arms relaxed but ready. Be at your setting location. You should be standing about one arm's length away from the net. This position is the ideal spot to run your offense. So the correct hand position is about one and a half inches apart of the thumbs and index fingers. 
your hands should form a triangle open space. It is also important in setting the pushing motion towards the ball. To perform, simply flick your wrists out to the sides as you set. And that is all for the three basic scales in volume. I hope you learned something in this video. Again, this is Jess Amelia Bress. Until next time!